IP issues. So are there things that the employee wants to carve out? Or are you saying, look, I'm paying you, you're using my tools, you're using my studio, you're using my whatever. Uh, whatever you do, <coughs> our understanding is I own the intellectual property. And to the extent that I need you to do a formal assignment of patent, uh, patent rights, or I need you to do a formal copyright uh, assist in the preparation of a copyright application, or do any sign anything or do any other act that helps you perfect or record the fact that you own the intellectual property, you want to have that in your agreement with your employees. So there is no dispute. Um, IP issue, by IP issues, I also mean that uh, to the extent you need them, need or want them to treat your proprietary information, your trade secrets, your customer list, your prospects in a, in a suitable way to not disclose it or to only use it for the purposes that you want them to use it for, that's something you put in your employment contract. You say, you know, <coughs> you'll typically see language and some of you may have been asked to sign and in fact sign agreements like that saying, you know, you understand that um, during the course of your employment with the Acme Vacuum Cleaner Company, you will be uh, given access to proprietary information, it will be this long list, makes your eyes water, uh, reading it, uh, you know, you agree that you will not disclose it uh, unless authorized. I think that's the purpose. So that if somebody goes off the reservation and does something, it's clear to the court that that's something that should be stopped. Restrictive covenants, um, 